Так. Ах ты, Сычон. Так, и вы. So the fuel, that's the wiggling around at the back of the tank. That's the gyro behind me. The fuel is on the lowest, which is now the mass. Not filled up quite easily. Fuel pump. Noisy time. Clear for up. Hopefully you can hear me. Yep. 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 This is a bit of a new box, so it's start up. Right, I'm going to give him a call, so keep quiet for a minute for me. Radio Golf Bravo Yankee Hotel India, requesting radio check and information for a Navex by the need to shoot with uh, three on board. Hotel India, Roger, runway 27, right hand circuit, QNH 1020. 27, right hand, uh, QNH 1020, Golf Hotel India. Uh, Hinton have just phoned, they've ceased parachuting for the day. Uh, Roger, yeah, I'm doing a, a fuel run after this. Roger. <laughs> Told you, did I? <laughs> uh, right, so that number is given me, I'll put in there now to put on there. Right, get hold that for a minute. Great work. That's good to start. Western Radio Golf Bravo Oscar Romeo Kilo, inbound from the east, uh, eight miles to run. Request their field information and joining instructions. Romeo Kilo, Roger, joined for 27 right hand QFE 1006. QFE 1006, runway 27 right hand. Uh, Romeo Kilo, just for information, a few litres of ever is overhead, Silverstone with photographs going on at the moment at 2000, q and oh, Thanks for that, I'll keep a lookout. Warm enough. Yeah, it's boiling now. I know, yeah, it is like that. Backtrack in the grass, okay, telling you. Okay, you actually sound working. like a captain, you know, when you're on a commercial flight. <laughs> you are <laughs> like, uh... From here, Kilo, can we take a long final? It's very, very quiet. I don't see why not. Well, go, we'll take a long final. We've got seven to run. 
final basically means he's uh, not not sitting in that square that I told you about. Oh, okay. Coming from over there, over the sort of toaster, over the racetrack. Sort of straight in with that little kink. How many people are on this sort of radio channel? Um, I don't know. I mean, at the minute, probably only about three or four of us, but... When we get airborne, we'll change to Birmingham. Uh, Romeo Kilo, two little numbers just overhead, Willoughby Golf Course now. And it's non-stop. Uh, can we repeat that, Romeo Kilo? Uh, we're just over the golf course, the east of Silverstone now. Uh, Roger, got you there. Main spotters at the end. Windsock looks fairly flaccid at the minute, so that's... And Hotel India, you're going to go to Hinton off of this trip, or come back and then go to Hinton from there? I um, think I'm going to be uh, back here, um, and then uh, over to Hinton after that, after that uh, golf over there. Roger, thanks. Yeah, if I just had one on it, I'd, I'd probably, I'd be alright with it, it's just... It's a bit tight, let's put it that way. Yeah. Especially when you just filled it up as well. This is the only time it's going to come back that far. <laughs> I lied earlier. Turn it round into what bit of wind there is. More checks. Uh, two little uppers overhead, uh, Silverstone now, uh, once again for rejoin. Okay, November, Roger, join for 27 right hand, QFE is 1006. 1006, 275, Gulf, two little upper, we'll fit in behind Romeo Kilo, so I haven't seen him yet. Roger. Uh, so I had a couple of calls, Zulu, Zulu, Oscar Echo. Oscar Echo, hello again, post message. We're going to back into the uh, farm site just to the south uh, west of you, and we're just to use at the moment. Roger, nothing that I know of uh, down there, and the uh, surface wind check is uh, west south of the 17 knots. This is the idle check that the helicopter did. Ten minutes, oh, all right. Going back in there and then leaving again. Roger. I have to keep looking up. When it's there, I can't see what it's doing. You're still belted up, aren't you? One more, um... Over. Um... You right, just see that? Yeah, yeah. So I've done with it now, pretty much, so we... We land. Look out. Go for Mary Kino, final. Did this one land? Romeo Kilo, Roger, surface wind west south west to be 170 knots. Roger, Golf Romeo Kilo. Can't see it. Still west very good afternoon. Golf, Oscar Juliet, Fox to Alpha. To the break, Hawk. Golf, Oscar Juliet, Fox to Alpha to Western, it's runway 26, right hand circuit. Can't Golf, see it, so we might get to nip out. Sorry, 2-7. Is this we're waiting for someone to land? Well, there's someone coming here, but uh, I can't see. Uh, ready to depart at the Charlie Hold, Golf Hotel India. Hotel India, Roger. Surface wind is west-south-westerly at 1-5 knots. QNH. But just for information, we're about 10-15 uh, minutes away, just passing Woburn. Uh, we'll call you when we're going to join. Roger. Actually, wrong way, Golf Hotel India. And Hotel India, if you could expedite. 
You can see quite a lot. Yeah, on a good day from, yeah. from here, you can see Birmingham City Centre. They're making a turn to the north now. That's Silverstone circuit over there. That's where the other guy probably was when we took off. What a view. Hopefully now it's smooth out a little bit. See what Claire meant about how light it feels. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the slightest bit of wind and it's moving around. It's crazy. I still feel quite safe though. <laughs> it's, it's like being on a small boat. Yeah. yeah. You, you probably you should get used to it. Can't see it being put this smooth for the rest of the flight. <laughs> <laughs> but take it while you've got it. It's crazy how easy it actually lifts off the floor. Yeah. yeah, I didn't pull it up there. Yeah. So the big jets, they rotate, so they, they actively pull back. Yeah. All I did was keep the weight off the nose wheel, and when it got to the right speed, it yeah. goes up. Yeah. It goes. Departed the circuit to the north, and uh, changed it to Birmingham radar on 123 decimal 9. Zero, we've got Hotel India. Hotel India, Roger. Uh, 2,500 feet on 1019. Request, advise each other. Okay, talk from your phone, we're going to take this is a basic service, QNH 1019. QNH 1019 for basic service, thank you. I've just put that number in there now, so on, on Birmingham's radar screen, he knows we're listening to him. Okay. Ah. The cloud's a bit oh, um, higher than it was earlier. Yeah. By this point, with Claire and Liv, we were levelling out because the cloud race was there. So I take it you don't want to be going through the clouds then? No, I'm not allowed to. Yeah. Uh. The general rule is, if I can see through it, I can fly through it. But you, you don't want to be near cloud anyway, because it's um, very turbulent. Yeah, of course. It's in a big plane, isn't it, that low? Yeah. Oh, I passed it. Yeah, my village is down there, so I normally do a little, let's just level up here. Oh, yeah. 
the big village here, you can see. You can see an old windmill. Big white windmill sticking out. There we're looking. Pretty much straight down at the minute. Oh yeah, I can see it. Yeah, that's Blakesley. That's the next village along. Ah. What I'll do now, if I bank round, we'll do a little orbit to the right. That's Wood End where I live, oh, behind okay. it. And you've got the, the, the field with the path through the, for the corner to corner. Yeah. And then there's... Is your house got the red roof? Big like paddocks, no, 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 no. When we come round, you'll see the conservatory. Mm. I think I can see it, because I can see out your street up there, yeah? Yeah. It went towards us. So, yeah, that path, I don't know if you remember walking down that path towards yeah. the woods. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Past the farm. When I swing it round a bit, No, I can, I can see it stick out like a sore thumb. If you look, it looks actually like a little swimming pool at the moment, but <laughs> it's a conservatory. You wish. So if you look, yeah, I know. So if you look by the field with the diagonal, yeah. and then you've got two little paddocks that way, yeah. keep going that way, you've got those, looks like three but four houses. One of them's got some glass and white at the back, and that's mine. Oh. Oh, ours. Mine. Oh, Jenny's. <laughs> he pays for it. <laughs> I can see it now, and you can see there's a, a light coloured path and a little black blob that's our table and chairs. <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, anyway. Back on. Yeah, so that's Blakesley there with the yeah, old windmill. That's the village where the pub in the shop is. Gorgeous area, isn't it? Most, most of the country is like this. Yeah. yeah. It's not the Midlands, <laughs> unfortunately. Well, not them brought anyway. So, quite a good view, a better view than earlier. So we're actually heading straight ahead, you can see all the uh, wind turbines. Yeah. That's where we're heading at the minute, we're straight north there. Yeah. All those wind turbines are by the M6, A14, oh, yeah. M1 junction. Right. And in fact, if it's really funny, I'm out of radar after the other state in ILS, only one five, information which is current, you have three, four miles. Roger that, Niner, five, two, eight, two. Line of 528, you like to continue and bring chase with the port established on the localizer and uh, when ready to send off the 6,000 feet, 6 units, 1 minute. Uh, well, airspeed we're doing 90 knots. Factoring yeah. in a, a wind behind us, we're a ground speed of 105 knots, which in miles an hour is near enough 120. Nice. But it doesn't feel like it. No. <laughs> In fact, when we come in the other way, you get used to this speed and you can be thinking, are we moving? Yeah. Uh, over to the right, you can see Northampton. Oh, I can see the lift tower there, there's a lift tower, you can see it sticking out. Subject 89, Charlie, Birmingham Radar, report your parking level. Subject 89, Charlie, passing out to you 3,100 feet. Subject 89 Charlie, Roger, thank you. Hey, are we over there somewhere? Flight level 120. Flight now, flight level 120. You can see all the houses that have swimming sort of pools as well. Yeah. <laughs> well I, I said to you, well, when you look down into the, into the bits of the sticks, it's surprising how many people do have them. Yeah, I just thought that as well. well I haven't seen one yet, where are they? Um, there was one, like, in that village. I can't see it from there, though. Nice houses down there. Birmingham Radar, hello, Tanks Hotel, Juliet, Bo Boeing 738 with information, uh, Whiskey, descending flight level 9 and 0. Tanks to Hotel, Juliet, Birmingham Radar, Roger, and uh, report to your heading. Body heading to 300 degrees, Tanks to Hotel, Juliet. Tanks to Hotel, Juliet, thanks for that. Check will be down in left hand end trial to report to 115, Whiskey's current number 2. Tanks to Hotel, Juliet, thank you. Radar's quite non stop. Yeah. Because they've got their talking to all the in, in, inbound and outbound. Is this the actual like, yeah. Birmingham Airport with all the business? It's, it's their radar service. So we're not oh. listening to pilots that are just about to land. We're listening to pilots that are coming into the area, which is over there. Ah, uh, okay. Talking to the radar service, which vector them, which basically means tell them, you know, go over there a bit, turn left, turn left. And then they'll hand them over to the tower to do the last bit. But we just 
listening to him uh, because we're going going near his airspace. Yeah. And we're told him that we're listening to him. So if he wasn't so busy, I'd talk to him and ask for what's called a basic service, which just basically means we tell him who we are, what we're doing and where we're going. And, and he'll just keep an eye out for us, basically. Oh. Uh, but it's obviously, as you can hear, they're quite busy, so I'll leave him alone. As earlier, I can't get this plane to fly in a level for the line for me. So you get thermal activity, so when it's sunny, yeah. some bits that lift you up, some bits that you, you drop a little bit. Over there, Daventry. Okay, Daventry got your part, the big bit of water that we walk around quite often. Oh, yeah. You've got the M1 down there. <laughs> How long did it take you to get to like the Neaton then? Like half an hour? Um, yeah, well, we're not going in a straight line. Um, the Neaton's actually over there, but we're going to go up right. to Brunton's up and turn left. Um, but we'll be there. I mean, the half flight's a smidge under an hour, so yeah, yeah, probably about half an hour if you average it out. But you've got a patch in the wind as well. We've got the wind tires at the moment. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we turn around, we'll have the wind ahead of us, so we'll be travelling slow. So if you look at that number there, that's ground speed. Good afternoon, So that should be about 20, miles, 20 knots. Oh, okay. Um, miles an hour slower. Final five three zero eight one three miles. Contact tower one one eight zero three zero five. Bye bye. Okay, There's a lot of activity yeah. again there. Five two hotel Juliet, turn there right heading three two zero degrees for downwind, descent to all altitude four thousand feet, QNH one zero one nine. You have I've two. got um three two zero degrees. But you might see it down, I don't think you will. Um, what pick up services? Two people talking together again. Oh yeah. Make this noise. Uh, okay, two stations to one, Jersey 7 Golf Bravo, Birmingham Radar, we'll be back to Zyla's approach. Our runway 15, information with it is currently KH-15. That's very good water, Costa. Leave Chase on the heading 18. Right, we come back, we'll turn pretty much fly over that. Okay, Golf Bravo, Birmingham Radar, 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 Birmingham Okay, we are main in front of it, uh, so I'm going to turn on the uh, You can expect vectors shortly, I will uh, uh, anticipate taking you down in left. When we get a little, I can just about make it out, but we're going to have Leicester in front of us shortly. It feels like it's taken no time to get there, but it's actually quite far if you drive, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, yeah. it took you an hour to drive from your house yeah. there, but we, we're basically going to go past your house to Atherston and back in less time than it took you to drive one way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Are these those turbines? We can see the distance already. Yeah. Well, there's loads. There's a patch there, there's a patch yeah, there, yeah, yeah. there's two more patches there. Every time I turn this sat nav on, it does a map update. And 99% of the time, it's another batch of uh, windmills gone away. Yeah. <laughs> it's getting off that Russian oil. <laughs> Subject 6, Jankin Mike, below flight level 100, start reducing speed 220 knots to left. 220 knots below flight level 100, we'll go subject 6, Jankin Mike. Jersey 7, Gulf Bravo, descend flight level 70. Flight level 70, Jersey 7, Gulf Bravo. So our first port of call is, I can see it now, but I know what I'm looking for. Um, 
You can just about see Leicester City Centre in the, in the mist. And just before, there's a strip of land that's fronting up off the runway that goes that way. And that's going to give it a chance. 1019, Foxtrot, Oscar, remain outside. Right, it's 2 Hotel Juliet, turn left, turn 2 4 degrees, base flag, 1 5 miles. FM 2 4 degrees, base, taxi 2 Hotel Juliet. Jersey, Sydney, Golf Bravo, descent, altitude 6,000 feet, QNH 1019. Contact you 6,000 feet, QNH 1019, Jersey, Golf Bravo. Taxi 2 Hotel Juliet, descent, altitude 2,500 feet, QNH 1020. Sorry, 2 Hotel Juliet, descent altitude 2,500 feet on a new QNH 1020. Okay, descend uh, 2,500 feet, QNH 1020, trying to see how to do it. Subject 6, Yankee Mike, turn right, turning 325, we'll take you down on left hand. Right, 325, Roger, Subject 6, Yankee Mike. You're looking straight at the end of the M6 there now. Subject, 7 okay. Hotel Tango, descent, flight level 7 zero. And then it's just... Just that, uh, somewhere. Yeah. It's quite misty, it's quite hazy at the minute. Yeah. The best days you get in the winter. Yeah, and oh, you really? can see, you literally can see for miles. Uh, but usually in the, in, the, in the warmer weather, you get obviously you get a lot of evaporation and you get a lot of moisture in the air. Puts it down a bit. Of course, if it's dry as well, you get a lot of dust. Yeah. You still see pretty far, though. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sit you a bit closer. That's better. That's better. Turn it to Hotel Juliet, turn left, turn 190. Yeah, you still see for a good sort of 10 miles or so. Turn it to 190, clear down to the station, turn it to 190, turn it to 190. So, like, in one shot, on a good day, in one shot, you've got Leicester, Birmingham, Coventry. Four thousand feet. Is that Coventry? Coventry's on the wing at the minute, but... Not quite see it. The first bit you can see is rugby. Oh, okay. Um, Coventry is further on that way. Uh, Here's Buntingville now, it's just at the end of the nose, I'll so point it down a bit. That's our turn point. Jersey 7 Gold Bravo, turn that right heading 330 degrees for a short downwind. Right, 330 degrees, Jersey 7 Gold Bravo. So when they tell you that this country is full. <laughs> yeah. yeah. As long as you don't want to give it up some farmland, it's far, it's far from true, but... Yeah. I think that's the point though, isn't it? Yeah, that's the trouble. You know that, uh, have you ever seen Clarkson's farm? Yeah, I watched it, yeah. Where, um, what's, what's the bloke's name who always comes up and gives the blokes a shit, basically? Caleb? No, no, the, the sort of, the, 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 the professional guy. Oh, I don't know his name, but I know who you mean. Anyway, um, he, look, I think there's a comment he made that there's only a hundred yields left in most of the soil in England. <laughs> really? It's a bit scary, yeah. It is a bit scary. Is that really live? Well, it's a hundred, it's a hundred years. hundred years worth oh, of crop right. producing before, oh, God, yeah. before the soil runs out of... Nutrients, nutrients and whatever it needs, yeah. So can fertilise it, but in the end it just it yeah. won't, won't have it anymore. That is quite scary. Yeah. Well, that was turn heading 045, See, that's quite long now. See the, the big, the tall buildings in the centre. Yeah. Yeah, that's crazy. The Brunton yeah. Falls an old runway, it's not used as a runway anymore, as you'll see, it's full of cars. I'll, I'll turn a bit early and then hopefully I'll straighten out and you can see it on your side. Jersey 7 Gulf Bravo, descent to 2,500 feet. Descent to 2,500 feet. That is so cool. That is cool. There you go, so that bumps it off. I love the turning. <laughs> so the hardest thing is flying it in a straight line. Yeah, I bet. Oh, yeah. I'm parking it, parking it's hardest, <laughs> then, draw, then flying it in a straight line. I'm going to be honest, I didn't expect it to be as on radar. Hello, all over the place. It's, it's it's moved. Moved. Yeah. 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 It moves. It moves. Yeah. I mean, you do get days day when it's just as smooth as you like. Yeah. But there is, there is uh, uh, a storm further north, or a brewing storm. We're just getting the edge of it. Yeah. 
So earlier on, when we when we turned and we headed towards Jacob Water, there was a mad rage shower where we had to fly around. Oh, really? Jersey 7 Gulf Bravo, turn right heading 120 degrees, clear dial as approach. Right at 120 degrees, clear dial as approach. So can you fly in the rain? Was that no, 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 um, so, but you wouldn't want to fly in heavy rain. No. no. You get that much water that you can't see where you're going. Might even drive in heavy rain, it? Yeah, exactly. I think when, when I get suitably experienced, I'll, I'll do my instrument qualification. Which means I can do cloud penetration and just fly just on instruments, yeah. but... I just want to get used to... Flying you know, as you yeah, are, yeah. Exactly, just normal flying first. <laughs> Uh, coming up to the M1 again, there's lots of work down there. It's crazy because you're naming all these places and they just look, I didn't expect it to be that small. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's a different scale when you come up. Yeah. Yeah. What, what really freaks your brain out is when it's a really clear day and what you can see. Naming towns and that, they just look like little yeah. settlements. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Well, that's it. You look at my village, and it, and it literally is like a couple of houses compared yeah. to a, yeah. a town. And that's, that's what's quite a big town as well. Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm saying. Uh, that's Magna Park there, yeah. the, the big industrial bit. So oh, that's okay. the uh, industrial units. And then dead ahead, you see some more industrial units. That's the, the Hinkley. That's where we're headed for. Oh, we're at Hinkley already. Oh, well, it's not quite there. It's up there. We can that's, see that's it. That's the M1. Yeah. Subject 7 Hotel Tango, turn left heading 190 degrees, clear dial as approach. Left heading 190 degrees, clear left approach, climbing at 7 Hotel Tango. ILS approach is instrument landing system. That's when the pilot's doing next to Chuffle. Yeah, I was yeah. going to say, is that like, <laughs> uh, yeah. I think one of the smoothest landings I've ever been in was when the pilot announced it afterwards. He said, yeah, the, that was the plane landed right, itself, but we, we had nothing to do with it. What I found out, I didn't know this, what I found out when he threw out those big storms not long ago. Oh, yeah. With the autopilot, quite often will overcorrect in heavy, like really heavy crosswind. So the pilots actually do more, all the flying when you've got heavy crosswind, just because the, the, the tendency to overcorrect all the time. Yeah, yeah. Then start uh, snaking. Yeah. Yeah. A big rainstorm there ahead. Well, off to the right slightly. Yeah. A big column of water coming down. Yeah. The first time I did this route on my own, my arm was terrible. It was up, I was up and down and up and down. I nearly bought it twice. And as soon as I got to Anderson and turned, it just it, it, it was clear. The other thing, staying away from rain, you get a lot of downdrafts. Sometimes the downdrafts can outperform the airplane. Nice. So we can't climb yeah, enough yeah, yeah. to, you know, cold air, air, isn't it, I suppose? It sinks. Yeah. So where the water cools it down and then, yeah. But it's not where we're going, so it's OK. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're, we're that way, and it's that way. Yeah. We can outrun it, can't we? Yeah. KNH 1020, August of November, Charlie. That was a big one. Yep. Pop my head then. I think I just uh, sword myself slightly there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all those bumps are, it's just when the wind momentarily yeah. is blowing the other direction yeah. and you lose yeah. your left yeah. 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 and, and it feels like you're hitting the bump. Because as soon as you get to wind over the wing, it, it stops doing it. Yeah. Yeah. You get the opposite, you get, you get balloons as well where you get more wind than it goes up a little bit. Leave Honolulu heading 285. Vector Silas uh, for runway 15, number 4, copy, and then leave uh, Honolulu heading 1, uh, sorry, 285. Right, we're near the boundary pinkly now. We'll go more or less straight over. Actually, you're leaving heading. This is where Liv was getting a bit. Yeah, like. <laughs> Hopefully not.
Control for an air uniform is changing to green and one, two, three, decimal zero, zero, five. Is he clear right in front of us now then? Is he clear right in front of us? He clears pretty much underneath. He's going, I can't see it now, it's under the nose. I can see a little bit. Yeah, so if you look down there, that's the M69. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. We'll get there in November, Charlie. Yeah, I've got the A5 along here. Four, sorry, thank you. So I know I sound very clever and informative, but it's only because I've done this route like eight times. <laughs> yeah. Charlie, can't expect it, no effect to be back to you almost around the night. Just a nice little navery when you got nowhere to go. Yeah. Yeah, just pass around here. Yeah, you'll be effective. Is this where you bought your dad? Yeah. Same route, yeah. Yeah, I did this route and a, and a different route later on. Took him around the back of Northampton. The plan was to go to um, fly over Skegness and the Wash and then land at Peterborough for lunch, but the weather was a bit iffy. Yeah. I mean, in the end it turned out all right, but it was too iffy when we, took, when we were going to take off. Yeah. See that rain column over yeah, there Yeah, it's now. actually pretty cool to see it yeah. from this sort of uh, point of view. Yeah, you can't see through that, can you? <laughs> Definitely not. And it looks good that way, which is the important thing, because that's home. Well, I mean, yeah. for me. Yeah, yeah. To get, to get yeah. the plane home, that's home. Yeah. Your home's down here somewhere. Yeah, look, again, I think, you know. So while we're flying over, because we've got glide range to get across, um, I tend not to fly over the neat two, because it's a bit bigger. Yeah. And you certainly wouldn't fly over, like, Birmingham or anything, unless you were... Uh, Super, super confident. It's not a nice view anyway, so... Uh, <laughs> yeah. But that's Nanit now, isn't it? Yeah. Oh. Sunny, isn't it? That's why you can see, look, the sun's still shining on it now, look. Like, yeah. <laughs> I'll show you my sat-nav later. This route, I've got saved as Sunny Nunny. Have you? <laughs> yeah. Not the base route that I like, extract to others. I mean, this particular one, I've... You put in all the correct information for the for you lot, basically. This is Myra coming up now. That's that's where we're he actually heading for. Yeah. I think you might have to look a bit that way, but it's uh, you'll, you'll see it down here in a minute. Yeah. Look, what I'm trying to do is keep to the left of stuff so you can see it on that side. I've seen it before. It's difficult trying to work out where everything is, you know, because you can just see it all at once. It's so yeah. hard to yeah. get your bearings. Well, it? Yeah, the thing is, it's just find a landmark and yeah, then you exactly. can kind of catch it from there. Yeah. Um, so, Myra, you know where Myra is in terms of yeah. driving. So, I've got the long tree down here now. Oh, I know where we're about to be. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah I've seen it now. So that's the long shoot there, Darren? That's the long shoot. That straight bit of road yeah, yeah, is the long shoot. So there's home, yeah. just about. Because we've just gone over... Uh, yeah, so if you follow the long shoot, yeah, and then the, round... Yeah, the industrial estate, the yeah. old Saddleboro field. That's right. Then there's, then there's You're just across the way, aren't you? Yeah. And then you can see the, you can see Dairy Crest as well. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my God, yeah. <laughs> well, you'll have a much better view on your side in a minute. Yeah. yeah. So we cleared... Yeah, because that, yeah, that, that's, right. that mid, that's middle field Muji, so you know who that... Uh, I can't, I don't know where it is. You know where that bit. roundabout is? Yeah. It's like there's a path going through a field, a little farm. Yeah, 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 of course. That's yeah. where it is. Got some spots of rain on the window now. Yeah? Only a little bit, so. Oh, yeah. They're having a slight, a slight shower. Okay, so the seven around the Charlie can right in one, two, zero degrees to clear down the protection way, one, five. <laughs> So basically, all right, heading one. Yeah, then my one. Clear that short truck way one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just on there now. So the next port call is Alistair. Now I'll just do a, a sharp left turn, and then we'll go that way. Ah. And I'll sort of fly kind of over the neat, but not not quite. If we're following the A5, then we'll probably go yeah, over my my work. That's the A5 there. Yeah. That's the big one. And that's, yeah. that's probably Tamworth there. Those white. Yeah, those white ones over there. That's Alistair just here on the nose. Straight as a die, isn't it, the A5? Oh, yeah. 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 The rain's still on our right, which is good. Yeah. Panic 6, kilo, descend flight level 7-0. Descend flight level 7-0, Panic 6, kilo. Well, I've got the A5 now. I've got the actual Myra main offices down here now. Which means when he road is... Uh, is that Woody Road? No, that's Lime Lane, isn't it? 
Yeah, that'll yeah, be my lane. Yeah. The way you rotate, I'm one of them. Logan, 7 November, Charlie, fully established now, 6.5 miles. Logan, 7 November, Charlie, thanks. Contact the channel, 1-1-8. Uh, you'll see it in a minute, but can you look across, you see, to see Mount Trudeau? Oh, yeah. Logan, November, Charlie, hello. Oh, yeah, you can see the quarry. Yeah. And that quarry there, that's the uh, the big one at um, Hartsville. Yeah. Yeah. Blue, Hartsville. Blue Lagoon is what we call it. That's Hartsville Hay, it's just the right of it. Oh yeah. See, look how small Hartsville Hay yeah, looks. Yeah, it looks tiny, doesn't it? It <laughs> looks like a bush. Yeah. Logan, the D7 to altitude 4,000 feet, QNH1020, Channing, 6 kilo. Oh, it's so weird, like, looking over and seeing the rain, like yeah. that. That's yeah. mental. So you see, we've only got a tiny splatter in, and you can see yeah. how much it kind of impacts your vision a little bit. Yeah. And you can still see, can't you, so... You can still see, but yeah. you can see how flying through that would be ten times worse. Yeah. Yeah. Great, wouldn't it? Nothing else. Nothing else. So, what I'll do... Make a little right turn, and then swing round to the right, and hopefully I can level out in time for you to see where you work. Work or worked? Work. Worker. For now. For now. For now. I have an interview on Thursday, actually. Oh, for some hours, find out. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So if I turn past it and the level up, you'll see it on your side. Radar morning, Vectors Island approach from way 15. X-ray is now current and continue towards Grove. Right, so if I level up there. That's it there. Oh, that's probably, yeah, that's the TNT. I think. Is that TNT? I can yeah, remember. Yeah, TNT, and then the one next to it, that's Aldi. Yeah. Oh, the newer one, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Midland. Oh, no. 134, that's my 180. We're going to say, be, be quick, because we're getting near Birmingham now. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> right, I'm turning. I don't want to get shouted at by Birmingham. I can see all the high rises. <laughs> it looks the same from whatever I'm doing at Birmingham. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Now, Team over there, so all the high rise flats, you can just see yeah. it sticking up, that white building. So, I'm basically going to fly over, fly a plane, and the long shoot. So, you should have the rest of the beam yeah. on your right. That's the blue lagoon bit you're talking about, yeah. Isn't it? yeah. yeah. Although it's green. Mount Judd looks like a pimple. Yeah. <laughs> so you know where Tut Lil is now? Yeah. Come in, in, yeah. Down that down side of it. I'll tell you what, I reckon I could land it on that bit of tarmac down there. It's that wide. Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> we'll walk back. <laughs> I, wish, I, tell you, I, wish, I wish they'd just put a strip on it. You could land on it. It'd be, it'd be well landing for me. Yeah, it would, wouldn't it? Yeah. Short on your trip, wouldn't it? Yeah. Just go in to see me dad. <laughs> <laughs> Ten minutes later. I'm here, where are you? <laughs> so. I'm uh, uh, Town centre's just there, look. You've got the road walk. Yeah. Train station. Yeah. Right. So you see a train down there, look. Yeah. Oh, that's fine, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Gasper, can you pass me my walk? Gasper, yeah. train. It's a bit warm. Should have kept it out of the sun, sorry. Kilo turn Obviously it's wet. Yeah. <laughs> it's all wet. Right heading 040 degrees, Channing 6. That's Jensen School down there. Oh no, it's not. There is a primary school down there. Might be like Wednesday or something. Channing 6, Kilo descend to altitude 2,500 feet. Altitude 2,500 feet. Football club's down there, look. Look at he's put that's you know all that dirt bit down there, yeah, isn't he? Yeah, that's the the, the house that they're building on East Bay Way. Yeah, yeah. Did you know you know that new bit on the long shoot? Yeah. yeah. There's a Millington Close, I think, or a Millington Drive. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, it's gonna be massive, isn't it, the amount of buildings? You know, yeah, you can see it's huge, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. And then yeah, so if you if you follow where the where Derek Crescent that is, on you've got Bedworth and then oh, beyond yeah. there you've got Coventry and the tall buildings of Coventry City yeah. Centre there. Oh yeah. I've got Hinkley again down here. Lovely. Very good. Hello, Ryder. Right, uh, six, six, oh, it's going to be one big one, two, 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 city soon. Well, well up. I mean, Hink yeah, yeah, Hinkley and Addison are going to just join up, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah, yeah so wait, if you look at Carl, Bedford and Eaton, there's not, there's not much between it now. That's what I mean, it's just been North Coventry before you know it. Yeah. Yeah. 
basically live on an airfield. Uh, it's the people that uh, like, the, like the they're in the middle. I think I think a lot of them are in the middle of the sort of See, desert. They've got too much room. Yeah, I know. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, definitely. Change tank quick. A bit. Fuel pump. So is that rugby on the left now? Yeah. Oh, that's rugby on the left. It's so crazy how close it all seems to yeah. each other from this height. Yeah. It's an X-93, uh, go first, establish on uh, Atlas runway 15. Can it's 93, go, thank you. See, in the middle of rugby, yeah, 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 the, the railway splits into two. Yeah. And in the middle, you've got the, the station. orientation of this is 66 Delta November, uh, 22 miles, descend to altitude 4,000 feet, you can inch from 0 to 0 A bit more sense to me now <laughs> <laughs> Not that I need it, but you know You seem to know where you're going Yeah, yeah well, like I say, I can eyeball it really Quite a strong wind up here from that direction, so we're fighting against it now. Yeah. Hello, remember it was 100, what was it, 105? It was like inches, wasn't yeah, it? 90 90 now. Yeah, 90 Yeah. Draco's a good uh, marker, isn't it? Yeah, basically, straight lines and water. Yeah. Yeah. Is that it in front of it? That's Draco water, yeah. Okay. That's... It's not on the... It's, it's just a, 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 yeah. a reference point along this and route. Six, six, it sticks out quite a lot. Oh, yeah. 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 It shows you actually, I know when I said it looks small, but it shows you how big Draco is when you compare it to Sounds of Village. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Massive, yeah. right? Or there's a um, air show rack that's in northwest of Sounds. I'll try to fix it off a little bit. Is that someone on a little, I think I can see a little wind surfer down there on Draco. It's probably. Here. Yeah, there were boats on there earlier. Really, yeah. So, yeah, it's probably a boat actually, not a wind surfer. Yeah, a little sailboat. So yeah, yeah. So, yeah, we, me and Claire went uh, a few weeks back. It was a sunny day, but blustery, and there was plane, so there, many of them. Oh, yeah. Jesus, you can tell the speed now when you see another one, can't yeah. you? Yeah. Where is it? Just like, almost there. directly behind us there, look. It's just going o over the tail. See it? started to turn to the right a little bit. Oh, yeah. When it was close, you could see it really shifting then. I mean, oh, it's going the opposite when way. You, when you come in, yeah, yeah, opposite, yeah, yeah. 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 Actually, you can see how windy Draco is. Look, see how the... You can the, see the, all the waves yeah, and whatnot. Yeah. And yeah, the amount of wind surfers that are on six, that is ridiculous. And then the descent off there's a restaurant, look, with a, with a little boat. Yeah. Got, uh, yeah. boat it, this, um, this caused a bit of a talking point on, um, earlier. This is that present coming up. Down here. Oh, that star shape building. Yeah. Do you know why they're building that shape? Well, this is what we were talking about. <laughs> what, is, what is it? It's so they can have one office and they can see down all of the cells, down all, all oh, of the corridors. Yeah. yeah I didn't realise there's one quite yeah. down there. It's quite close. I can't remember that's that centre building will be the office where all the gaffers yeah. Yeah. Keep, yeah. keep an eye on the prisoners, basically. And they can show each wing off, can't they? Yeah. Right. 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 Yeah, that is crazy. This is Daventry coming up again. We're on the other side of it now. Right, and 182 degrees, clear down. Approach runway 15. Miserable weather to the north. Yeah. <laughs> Says it all, doesn't it? Yeah. Grim up north. Yeah. <laughs> Incidentally, if you were a bit of a KLF fan back in the day, they just released it all again on uh, Spotify. Much to my amusement. Six six delta, but that's a fully established star. Full five. 
Contact the town. Yeah, we can hear all those those channels you're talking. How come I can't hear us? Are we just blocked off from them? Not transmitting. Okay. Uh, I have to push that button to transmit. Right, got you. And even then, I, I, I need to ask actually, because I, I always ask the passengers to keep quiet, but that's more because when I'm talking, I, need, I then need to listen. Yeah. Um, but I'm, 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 I would think it's set up so that when I press this button, it only transmits my microphone. Likewise, there's a button there which would work on yeah. yours, yeah. and they they wouldn't transmit at all. Well, so, okay. So once you press that button, the whole uh, everyone can hear you. Anyone on that yeah. frequency can hear yeah, what I say. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Which is why you have to engage brain before you engage the radio. Yeah, yeah I can imagine. I would definitely end up saying something stupid. Oh, I, 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 I've invented runways. <laughs> <laughs> it's two, it's um, two seven and zero nine east west. Yeah, yeah. Compass yeah. directions. I was coming in to land on one lesson, and I was that flustered. I said, uh, final, final to land on two nine. I think I said. Yeah. Uh, uh, don't copy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They don't mind, people make mistakes, as long as you sort of come back on and say, correction 27, yeah. you know, no one bothers. Because ultimately, you know, most GA pilots are only flying, you know, once every, or whatever, or a couple of weeks, and commercial boys are flying virtually every day, so. Yeah. That's why I, I try not to, I mean it's gone quiet on Birmingham now, but we're away from their airspace, so I won't come off in a minute. Yeah. But um, I, I tend not to bother them unless they're really quiet. Because it takes me about five times longer to deliver what I want to say than it would take a commercial pilot, because they talk so, oh, yeah. they just rattle it off like... Code, code yeah. speak almost. Yeah, so actually we'll turn back now. Right, they're continuing for Tuffin Go, Dolphin Alpha. I will. Put 7,000 back in there. So he knows we're not listening to him anymore. It's or she. What does she? It's actually quite mad that once you get used to it, you forget you're in a little tin box. It's yeah. just another vehicle, isn't it? You are in a little tin box. <laughs> nothing, more, nothing more than a car with a propeller and wings, yeah. really. It's quite, quite crazy once you get settled in. Yeah. Right, we're going to go to the clearing Daventry now. We've got some good uh, pictures of Leo's camp, so I won't try and find it again now, but... Yeah. I can see a golf course. Over there somewhere. It was really hard to spot. Uh, we, had to, we had to circle it. Yeah. Have a second go, but... And this is the beauty of flying out to Eston. So even this far out, well, I can see Northampton over there. I can see Silverstone race circuit. Yeah. So, if you can find Silverstone, I can find my way home. Yeah. And also down, um, it'll be on your side, I think. Yeah, it'll be on your side somewhere. The massive concrete sticky uppy thing. Sticky uppy thing. That's a technical term. It is over. definitely a technical term. Uh, I can't actually see it at the moment. It's pretty obvious when you see it. Yeah. Um, basically, fly that or find that, fly south, and that's home as well. I see what you mean, how it seems to get rougher when you're actually in the sun because of the... It's just thermal activity. Yeah, yeah exactly. Once it's stabilised, it's because it's been, been a bit cold, it's been a bit yeah, warm, yeah, yeah. and, it, and it's a, it turns the atmosphere up. Yeah. When, it, when it's the same weather for an amount a while, of time, yeah. it usually sort of settles down a little bit. If you get one of those big lurches near the, near to the ground, because that'll just make me power on yeah. and go around yeah, and try yeah. again. I don't blame you, mate. It's funny you get you get them in huge planes, don't you? You just you just they're a bit more immediate in some of this size, I think. <laughs> yeah. Again, when I was listening to the pilots talking about that, um, the big storm. Yeah. It it the wind needs to push a lot harder on a big plane to make it move. Yeah. But once it starts moving, it's got a lot more uh, momentum, momentum on it. Yeah, so yeah. It's, it's harder to keep it, you know. Yeah, so although we're getting, quickly on yeah, although although we're getting buffeted yeah. around a bit, just with quick motion on that, we can... Yeah. I, I can it, it almost springs back, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, I can smooth it out to a point. Golf Echo Uniform, Sir Western, good afternoon. Go ahead. 
BH28, two miles to the south, 2,400 feet to turn in the overhead. Uh, just dropping information to the vehicle. Thank you for. Okay, uniform, Roger, thanks for the call. I've got one twin in the circuit, nothing else known in the area. Uh, the local QNH 1020. 020, we'll call you overhead. Thank you, uniform. Right, I'm going to give him a call. Press him with the air golf, Bravo Yankee, Bravo Yankee Hotel India. Um, Air food information uh, for London. Hotel India, Roger, 27 right hand circuit, QSE 1006, and I've got one twin in the circuit at the moment. Uh, Roger, and um, QSE 1006, and we'll join our head. Go for Hotel India. I'll put 06 in there now, and that now changes to reading how high we are above the ground. Okay. Or at least how, how high we are above the ground at the western, not necessarily here. Yeah. So, when we join, I need to be overhead the airfield at 2,000 feet, and we'll do that sweeping, ending turn I told you about, and then we'll join the circuit and then go into land. It is the proper way to do things. <laughs> oh, that was a big one. It was. That's why it's nice to have a bit of cloud, because you've got something to point at if you can't see the car on the ground. Yeah. yeah. It almost feels like surfing when you're hitting a bit of that wind then, doesn't it? Surfing the airways. Yeah. 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 Our village again down here. Roger, don't be mouth Had radio silence then. It's unusual to get silence, I tell you. What was really funny was when, um, when I took my dad up, they were, I think I told you earlier, they were doing, um, they were filming on the runway with cars. Oh, really? And I got asked to take to the grass because the cars were on the runway. Like, excuse me, mate, I'm in an airplane, it's an airfield. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But they get a lot of revenue from it, so. Uh, they, tried, they tried to be accommodating to the film people. Only talks. And to be honest, it's, it's no headache for me to land on the grass. So. Uh. Alright, so I've already done my pre landing checks. I might do. Uh, So we've just got to get there now. Silverstone's become a bit more apparent now. But it there was like the white yeah. buildings and stuff. Yeah, all yeah. The most, most of the white buildings yeah. are the grandstands. It's big, isn't it? It's that is huge. <laughs> Again, you don't realise the that's scale of some things, do you? There's a building there, I think that's those school as well. Oh, no way. Which is where they filmed Indiana Jones and... One of them. <laughs> is it the new one? Or the I think old it was ones? the Grail. It's the one where they're burning the box. Oh, it's it's yeah. Holy Grail. It's, it's been the, that long. It's the scene where they're building the, burning the box that was filmed there. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. I, yeah, I haven't seen Indiana Jones films in years. I don't think I've actually ever watched one. What? Raiders of the Lost Ark, my favourite. I don't think I've seen that since I was 12. Alright, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so, so we're getting close now. Um, Blackley is Go just to the right, north, slightly. Hinton, well, we're going to the bit to fill up, is just to the side of that. It's literally like two minutes in the air. Like I said, the airfield's there, that's on the nose, but... Circuit a little bit better, that's some Village there, where we used to live. So that's a big forest there, isn't it? What's, what's that? Uh, well, that's split by the A43. 
So that's uh, Butler and Hazelborough. That's where we still do, still walk there quite a lot. Compared to Hot Delay, anyway. Yeah. 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 Mostly, but you can't walk around there because it's so uh, just dense, yeah. dense, yeah, foliage and whatever, yeah, yeah. Uh, keep on flocking this way and we'll have a look when you get a bit closer. Stop off, drop, go under there are men in there, mate. <laughs> this is the problem when you've got people joining in all directions. Yeah, I'd get lost with where everyone was. Yeah, me too. Well, he's coming along finer, which means he's that way. Okay. I didn't quite hear where he said. I think he said he got seven miles to run, so he's probably poster, which is over there somewhere. In fact, I think I can see him. But we'll be a few minutes in this anyway, so it's... Yeah. Oh, there he is. To the left. Is that, is that, was that one oh, taking yeah. off? Uh, yeah, that, no, that's another one. That's already in the circuit. And the other thing you notice when you, it feels like you're doing like a, just a turn. You see how, how much you sort of sweep around like a bird when you, yeah. when you yeah, do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, uh, keep quiet then, because I've got to do some, quite a few calls coming up in a minute. Yeah, no worries. Good run, mate. Right, so, it's supposed to call when you're going, when you're crossing overhead, and I can't, well, I can't see it, I can't. Ready to get off. Yeah, I can see this end of it now. Tango, yeah. Diamond, Yankee, 2, 1, 5 miles to the northeast. Fresh air to replace it. Two uniform tango, it's runway 27 right hand for the QFE 1006. Runway 27 right hand circuit, QFE 1006, joining right base, runway 27 to that. I don't know what's going on down there, but it's like a tent. Let's just turn, I've got him down here. Yeah, I see him down there. Uh, he's going into land now, isn't he? He's doing touch and go, so he's staying in the circuit. Okay. Westerly 10. Roger, got him now, sir. Descending dead side, Golf Hotel India. Hotel India, Roger. when that happens, because I think, Christ, that's a big plane coming past. Good <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. cloud. <laughs> right, so I'm, I'm completely off power now. Yeah, it's really smooth. This is, this is how, how it would feel if we lost engine power. It doesn't, like Claire initially thought, it doesn't <laughs> fall out of the sky. Yeah. Like that, yeah. In fact, if anything, I'm not losing quite very quickly. Okay. I just got He's he's just landed and he's taken off again, look. That's a, that's what's got a touch and go, so he's training for something or practicing or whatever. I was gonna say is that some sort of training, yeah. But we're gonna be in front of him now, hopefully. He'll have to go over there and along and along and we're gonna effectively cut on the inside. Scotland Alpha, uh, outbound and circuit, uh, we'll be departing the circuit for return to Alpha 3. Lima Alpha, Roger, uh, and the uh, request, what arrangements have you made to plan for the circuit? Have you got yourself an account yet? Uh, we'll call you when, we'll call you by phone when we've landed, Golf Lima Alpha. Okay, fine, thank you. Turning downwind, Golf Hotel India. Hotel India, Roger.
Bradley Map, I have base leg turning traffic inside and parting the circuits over Silverstone for return to our street. Lima Alpha, Roger, see you again soon. Thank you, Golf Lima Alpha. I don't want it to be bumpy. Maps make a difference, don't they? Yeah, it's it helps the speed control as well. Yeah, that's what I meant, you can feel it drop instantly then, couldn't you? Do that kind of look fine enough. Hotel 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 India. Hotel India, Roger, it's uh, 250 degrees, 15 knots. Golf Hotel India. Beautiful Tango right base. Romain. That's a bit for the left, but not too much. That wind speed and direction. Yeah. Uniform Tango, Roger, number two at the moment. Number two, Beautiful Tango. We'll probably get told to turn onto the grass if this guy's still doing this. Roger, one on at the moment, continue. Turn up, Scott Potts Cross Gary is five miles east of the field. A tad bumpy, got a bit of float in there, but see if that was a hint at Alaska round and that could all be enough to have another another stab. That was pretty cool. Oscar, Oscar, Roger, two seven right hand. It's gonna be so much fun doing that. That's gonna be a control. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and it's not up. It's not up my back rear end either. That was right. coming in there. I can open that. Even your mum on the balcony. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, it is. Mum's waving. <laughs> Confident in the jerk, um, runway vacated. Come in, do you, Roger? Alright. And you can just pull a bit further forward. Yes, that guy's not doing it. Uh. And two uniform tango anywhere on the left hand side, past the cones. Okay, thank you, Tennis and Tango. Okay. It's a pretty groovy looking yeah, plane. Say, that looks ah, that's a diamond D well D A sixty two, it's written on the wings. That is probably um of somebody studying to be a commercial pilot because they're quite common for pilots training to do multi engine. because um, they're cheaper than obviously, you know, training in a big jet. Yeah. <laughs> So you do, do your multi-engine instrument in one of those. Westerly one six knots. Yeah, quite. 
quite nice plane though, yeah, but yeah, probably about. Look at that. Quid or something stupid. How much? Three million quid. Yeah. Two, I mean. Ouch. Exactly. So yeah, so that was uh, a bit of an interesting landing. That was uh, a little bit blowy. It was fun, mate, that was. I enjoyed yeah. that. Yeah, cheers for that, mate. That's a really nice experience. Yeah, it was good, thank you. I did think at one moment to power on and throw it away, but... <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you didn't. It settled, it settled down and then it, it was it was fine in the end, but... We're still in one piece, so it's yeah. alright. <laughs> it was that, that, like you say, that little lift, like, like the sort of drift at the very That little lift and drift, yeah, it, yeah. 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 It, was a, it was quite a nice feeling, actually, just in a strange sort of way. So I thought, I thought, are these wheels down? I thought, that can't be, because uh, that's no. going to be the smoothest landing ever. Yeah, no. <laughs> I have to say, Claire's landing was smoother, but that was more fun. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, right, so... Fucking brakes, so... Ready for your bit, so... Yeah, I'll let you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this will stop working now. Open the door, quickly. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it crazy?